Okay. I'm going to take a loop like this. And I said the current I is going around like that. That leads to a B field going up. But I could add another one right on top of the first one. And when I do that, it's also going to get me another B field going up if I have the same direction of current in it. And now I can do this multiple times. And every time I stack them up, I get an increase in the B field. This B field gets very strong. So this is, of course, a special device. And let me see if I can draw it slightly differently. A tube. And now you take a wire and you wrap that wire around the tube. And you run current I through it, you're going to generate a B field. Okay, the current I is coming around like this on each one, which is the same as our little loops that we just drew. And so the B field is in fact coming right out the top of this device, and it's strong. The B field is strong. The B field is, of course, everywhere in there. And in fact, it's coming in from the other side. And so this makes a very strong B field. Anybody know what this thing is called? There's a special name for it in physics. It's called a solenoid. This device is called a solenoid, and the purpose of the solenoid is to make a strong B field that you can then do stuff with. So when you're playing around with this in lab, let me give you a, a joke that you can use for your TA. Right? You're in lab, you're working on this stuff, and the TA comes around and says, how's it going? And you say, oh, I'm solenoid. <laughs> Where's the, we need the drum. Ah, physics, physics humor. Can't get enough of it, right? I know. All right, what is the strength of the B field in a solenoid? Okay, the B field is pointing up. We determine that from our right hand rule. The strength is the following it's mu naught n i. Mu naught, we know. I, we know. But what is this thing right here? This is the turns per unit length. Okay? How many wires do you have? N wires. How long is your solenoid? L. That's what this little n is. Turns per unit length. Okay? So what is the strength then of the B field? It is mu naught n i over L. 